I'm going to focus on the Supreme Court of the United States and what's happened to the Chief Justice of the United States and how he is enormously political, and I believe he is a leaker. And this is a big problem for people who have to live with each other day in and day out. Nine judges, nine lawyers, who are cloistered in the Supreme Court, in their own conference room, in their own offices, and this is all they do. Uh, and if there's leaking going on, and there clearly is, one justice against another, it is a huge problem. And it's pointed out here in Newsweek by Josh Blackman. He's a constitutional law professor at South Tex Texas College of Law in Houston, and he's co-author of an outstanding book, An Introduction to Constitutional Law, 100 Supreme Court Cases Everyone Should Know. Now, let's take a look at this, and this will concern you. You know, I hate to do this. I mean, it's not like we don't wake up every morning with constant concerns about what's going on in this country. But we're seeing a complete breakdown of the civil society and the constitutional system. The Supreme Court has turned into a sieve, he writes. Last week, CNN reporter John Biscubic published a four-part series that revealed the high court's private deliberations. Even worse, the leaks were designed to advance specific narratives about which justices are strong and which are weak. Chief Justice John Roberts is all-powerful. Justice Neil Gorsuch appears decisive. Justice Brett Kavanaugh looks weak and ineffective. And Justice Elena Kagan lurks in the background, eager to lend a helping hand to form a moderate coalition. Roberts fancies himself the second coming of the great Chief Justice John Marshall. The rest of the justices are innocent bystanders. Virtually nothing is said about Justice Ginsburg, who was blabbed in public about internal deliberations. Justice Sotomayor, who spoke with Biskubic for her earlier book, appears in passing. Justice Breyer is barely there, and we only learn about Justices Alito and Thomas when the role affects the four protagonists of CNN series. This week, the Democrats have threatened to expand the number of justices on the Supreme Court and pack it with leftists. This is how evil and totalitarian the Democrats are right now. They're prepared to burn down not just cities, but burn down the whole damn country. They truly are. What should the Chief Justice do? Well, here are five steps he can take to bring the court back in order. First, the Chief Justice must immediately issue a public statement on his own behalf about the leaks. He should declare these leaks unacceptable and announce that he is investigating the breaches of confidentiality. He cannot simply deny reality. The court needs an emergency tourniquet to stop the bleeding. Roberts has no problem criticizing members of other branches. He issued a public statement rebuking President Trump's tweet about Obama judges and Trump judges. He condemned Senator Chuck Schumer of New York, the Democratic leader, who said the justices had released the whirlwind and will pay the price for all awful decisions. And during the Senate impeachment trial, he admonished both Republicans and Democrats to stop using language that is not conducive to civil discourse. But in his own house, Roberts has failed to enforce any rules of order. The Chief Justice needs to bring the same moral clarity he brought outside the Supreme Court to his own chamber. Regrettably, there's every reason to believe Roberts only favors transparency for the other branches and not his own. You can see this professor's got a good beat on Roberts, that he is quite the egomaniac and control freak, and I'm quite concerned about this myself.